If you're just joining us, welcome. Remember, whether you're human, reptoid, banshee, golem, wendigo, or anything in between, as long as I'm here, you've always got someone to listen. All right, caller, you're on the air. I don't know what to do anymore. I, I can't be here anymore. I don't want to be in this body. I'm going nuts. Whoa. Slow down, caller. Just back it up. Tell me a little about yourself. I'm Elaine. Well, uh, I, I guess technically I'm Madison, and I'm 68 years old, but I'm currently trapped in the body of a 19-year-old. So you identify as Elaine? Who is Madison? Madison is my granddaughter. I'm in her body. Let's be clear. Your spirit is in her body, correct? Yes. Uh, sounds like a case of interfamilial body exchange. IBE is uh, usually the result of a curse. Are you acquainted with the documentary Freaky Friday? Documentary? Like the movie with uh, um, Lindsay Lohan? Caller, most people do not realize the verisimilitude of those films. Each film is based on true events and verifiable texts in regards to IBE. Oh, okay. In my home, they are alphabetically organized in the documentary section. Whoa. Yes, whoa is correct, caller. Let's get down to it. Have you angered any witches lately? I don't think so. Think really hard. I don't think I know any witches. You'd be surprised. Oh, wait! I beat Carol Antonelli at cribbage, and she gave me the evil eye for the rest of the day. Then the next day, she brought me vegetables from her garden, which she never does. Ah, and could they have been cursed vegetables? I guess so. Were you anywhere near the vegetables when the body swap occurred? <gasps> oh my gosh. That night, I made vegetable lasagna. Bingo. We were eating it when the swap happened. Elaine, now I must say, I'm a little surprised that I'm getting this call from you and not your granddaughter. It's usually the spirit in the more uh, dilapidated body that is looking to reverse the curse. Are you kidding me? There is no way I want to be 19 again. This is terrible. Madison hasn't been able to find a job since she graduated. She spends all of her time on her phone. I am so anxious having to maintain her social media pages. If I don't put hearts on her friends' posts within minutes of them posting it, then they text and yell at me and they shun me for days. The challenges of today's youth are quite different than your own, I assume. Oh, yes. My biggest worry growing up was if Bobby Thompson was going to ask me to the dance and if maybe he would kiss me. Now I've received enough genitalia portraits to be considered a smut peddler. People don't realize the true depths of despair this kind of body exchange can generate in real life. The intergenerational changes can be shocking to both parties. Is Madison also in a state of shock? I wish. Really? She's having the time of her life by ruining my reputation. Look, I don't even know how to say this. She's having a field day, carousing with my neighbors. When you say carousing... Canoodling! You... Making whoopee. Doing the wild thing. Yep, please stop. I got it. She says she feels free because she can buy her own wine, make love without fear of getting pregnant, and she's experimenting in ways I don't even want to know about. My body went from being Little Miss Goody Two Shoes to a... Uh, a little hussy. Whoa. Language. I'm sorry. I'm just so riled up. All right. Relax, Elaine. We can fix this. I'm intuiting this was an act of malice on the part of Carol Antonelli. We have to reverse the curse. Okay. How? We need to get you and Madison in the same room so we can reverse this. Dana? Dana, pull up a Wikipedia entry for a nullifying swap spell. Caller, where is Madison right now? She's at the pool with Herman Katzman. And Carlos Enriquez. Okay, I need you to text her. Can't I just call her? No, you have to send a text. Uh, fine. What do I say? Need to meet FTF ASAP. We need to meet an MTF as soon as possible. Close enough, Elaine. Sent. Dana, did you pull it up? Can you print it for me? It's The printer is still not working. What? Is Mercury in retrograde again? Well, we have two souls on the line here, Dana. Figure it out. I'm going to have a panic attack. Well, my guess is if you look in Madison's purse, you might find a few recreational things to help you with that. What? Never mind, Elaine. We need to gather a few things before she gets back if we are going to reverse this. She texts it back. It's a picture of fire. Is it an actual photo, a gif, or an emoji? A cartoon? Emoji. Good, she'll be back quick. We've got to hurry. Uh, do you have any of the cursed vegetables left? 
Well, I think we have a zucchini that's lodged in the back of the fridge. Madison said she was going to zoodle it, whatever the heck that is. Yep. Oh, oh okay. Here we go. It is pretty mushy. That's okay. Uh, find a bowl and put it inside. Got it. We're going to need crushed dried flowers, Cholula, turmeric. Is cumin okay? Sure. If you have any feathers around, especially birds of prey, throw those in. Now, a cup of tepid tap water, anything sticky in your fridge. Mayonnaise, syrup, pickle juice. Got it. Got it. Now grab a wooden spoon and stir it counterclockwise. Okay. Seriously, Dana, you scribbled the spell on a post-it? It's okay, Dana, I forgive you. The spirit in me salutes the spirit in you. Namaste, Dana. Hey, Grandma. She's back. Put me on speakerphone. Repeat after me. Omnia mea me comporto. Omnia mea me comporto. Q brutum fulman. Q brutum fulman. Now throw the mixture. Throw it at Madison and say, Reductio. Dana's not a dear nay. Nay. Reductio ad absurdum. Reductio ad absurdum. Elaine? Elaine, is everything okay? Yes. Yes. We, uh, we switched back. Uh, I can't even. Another success, friends. Elaine, Madison, enjoy your lives as they were meant to be lived. Hey, uh, uh, host? Yes? Were the ingredients in that bowl actually part of the spell? (laughs) No. I just thought it would be an amusing touch to pay Madison back for what she did to your body. Right, but now uh, that I'm back in my own body, oh. I'm the one dripping with that concoction. Yep, hadn't fully thought that one out. Well, thanks for calling, Elaine. Oh no, I think my body's drunk. Madison! And we'll be right back with our next caller after a brief intermission. <laughs> 